Hello everyone. Welcome to the second edition of Indian Stents Get Updated. I'm Viveka Roy Chaudhary from Express Healthcare. Today we have with us Dr. B.B. Chanana from Maharaja Agrasen Hospital, New Delhi, who is an interventional cardiologist and he's going to talk to us about the new stents in the market, about how Indian stents are as good and as at par with stents from all across the world. Dr. Chinana, yes. thank you for speaking to Express Healthcare and for being featured on the second edition of Indian Stents Get Updated. You've been an interventional cardiologist for many decades right now. And what is your view on the stents that are in the market today? What has been the evolution in stent technology over mm -hmm. the last few decades? See, the quality of stents in all across the world is almost the same. It's not uh, different. The thickness of the stents was slightly different in different stents initially. Now all the stents are almost thinner, okay? And the quality of Indian stents are as good as any other stents in the, in the world also. We have international data also, and we have special stents in the India which are not available in the other countries also. Okay. And the other stents like Indian stent, like Abrolimus, Eptimus also, the quality of the stents is extremely good. If you look at the data by the trials, they're also same. If you ask that difference, with, with me, why, what was the difference in my patients when I use the, these stents and the Ameri uh, you know, American stents and other stents? I found, uh, let me tell you one thing. When we were using the Zion's uh, uh, you know, expedition, and the stent thrombosis was, used to be more. When we started us using the stent limits and everything, then the stent thrombosis was less actually. You know? This and was, this is all this backed is the by data, data from, from my from, patients also. Okay. It's backed from evidence based clinical yeah, trials. This is the, yes. This okay. is true. Okay. 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 This is true, actually. Okay. Okay. And I believe that there are certain. And the trackability of the, you know, these stand tetlimus, epidemias, as compared to the, you know, zines is much better. If you have tortuous coronary artery, the trackability is much better. Okay. Okay. And when the stands for no, these zines for not crossing, then we have to change over to this stand initially. Okay. Because they were just started at that time initially, say 20 years back, you know. Okay, okay. So STEN technology has evolved and the Indian companies have managed to leapfrog a lot of the older generation STENs, the problems with the older generation STENs. That's what I'm understanding from what you're saying. And uh, the government of India has also kind of lent its push to this in, uh, whole initiative of making STENs in India, the Make in India policy, which is now quite a few years old. Do you think that has benefited Indian manufacturers of stents in India? Yes. See, the Indian, Indian quality of stents is very good. It is almost, my experience, it is better than the other stents, actually. So, that in, international trial also has seen the same results. So, why not India should manufacture and spread all over the world? Actually? Yes, made in India and export yeah. to the world. Yeah. Right, right. And there is good data to back this thing. Yes. And uh, do you feel that the data that is coming out of trials, the randomized clinical trials, which is the gold standard for doing trials, do you feel that because of the inclusion-exclusion criteria which are used in trials, do you feel that the trial conditions and the outcomes from those trials are mimicking what you're seeing in the clinic, especially <coughs> clinics in India? See, the, sometimes the results are not good, actually. Some of some, the, you know, you have to, if you ask the experience of the doctors whether they use these stents, which are better. I'm telling you, these Indian stents were much better than the other stents. That time, the strength was much more happening in Zion, especially at that time, all across the India, mm -hmm. also in my patients also. When we change over to this stent, the strength of the rate has gone down much. See, okay. Like, if, if I, can I tell you one more thing, actually? <coughs> when the BBS stents were launched, but the bio the, the, when they, they were launched, the quality was good. Okay, hmm. but but some uh, initially they were told that you dilate the artery and then you don't post dilate the stent. Okay, and th that was recommended by them. The, the, those who doctor who did not post dilate, there was a very severe stent thrombosis. When I started this BBS implantation in India, I said I will not uh, without post dilating the, use it. When I use this post dilatation, uh, post dilatation the stent thrombosis was almost same as other other, not not high. Okay. 
and then the, this uh, trial, this data was present in the Europe that strain thrombosis is more in BVS strains and there, then they have ignored it actually. Okay. Now the strand, biosaurus strains are being launched by the mirror also actually mm -hmm. because of this. Right. The right. future is uh, good for the observer strains. Okay. Future is good. Okay. So that's a very nice positive note that, you mm. know, Indian uh, manufacturers are also at the cutting edge of technology with yeah. bioabsorbable For, for bioabsorbable, you are supposed to dilate the artery uh, uh, almost the same as the size of the strand initially. Okay, okay. So and that takes a certain were level of... It, right. And they were just putting it and not post-dilating it. Naturally, they were uh, supposed to have more strand thrombosis actually. That's true. And that's true. So they were showing the strands are bad and not the person is doing is bad. So it also came down to the technique and the experience of the person yeah. who is inserting the stent. Yeah. And that also means that there needs to be a lot of training and a lot of, uh, you know, training from by inter yeah, senior cardiologists. If you look at the who started BBS stents in Amsterdam, their data was very good. Right. They were doing it very exactly. So it came down ultimately to the technique and the experience of experience, the person yeah. doing it, right. So how are uh, senior cardiologists, senior interventional cardiologists like yourself passing on these skills and these techniques and these expertise to the next generation of interventional cardiologists? Yeah, we now the discussions are all, always there in the meetings, how to put the stand, how to dilate the cornea artery, then how to see it with OCT and, you know, I was whether the stands are properly implanted or not, you know distally and proximally, how much you have to launch. So you have to be very careful actually. Okay. okay. Then the results are good. Right. And what is your message to the next generation of interventional cardiologists mm. who are coming into uh, practice uh, today? Do you feel that they are going to be impacted by this levels of distrust between patient and doctor today? Because that was not there, the distrust between patient and doctor was not there when you started practice. So how is that making the life and decisions of a doctor are uh, different from when you started practice? No, now the patients, are, many patients are confused with the doctor. You know, many doctors advise when we have a severe triple vessel disease, when we do NGO, patients as a left main 99% triple vessel disease patient came and they went to doctor, uh, some other doctors in the, you know, you know, protocol or something. Mm -hmm. They said, you know, you don't require either standing or surgery. Right. So the okay. whole trend of going for second uh, opinion, <laughs> third opinion. So many patients, they die at home. Right, 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 right. When international guidelines are there all across the world, that in case you have 99% percent you should go for studying immediately. Why go for only medication if may not? Okay, okay, okay. 30, 40 pe percent people who don't go for standing, they die within uh, one or two months or Right, right, sir. And what can the government do on policy? Uh, for, uh, you know, decreasing the NCD burden in India. The government has uh, put certain policies like Aishwaman Bharat, which have, uh, you know, created insurance policies for patients from the lower socioeconomic strata of society to access very complex cardiac procedures. No, government has, you know, started the Aishwaman Bharat for poor people. Right. But for government, this concept is wrong. Why? Because many hospitals, many patients which you have to put a stand and you put and dilate the vessel with three, four, seven. you cannot uh, do for that money, the money they have de decided to pay. True, the, the package is not The enough. package is wrong actually. Okay. Right. So, uh, all patients are different. Some patients we use one balloon, sometimes we use four, five balloons actually. Okay. True, true. Some patients we have to use one stand, sometimes the patient requires two stands. True. For same vessel, if okay. there's a long blockage okay. or double blockage. And right. then they decided one only fix money. Hmm. Hmm. The government should pay the money for all the material which is used true, true. to the hospital. True, true. That should be the criteria by the government, not fix money for the criteria. Okay, okay. I have written an article also in that. Okay. And publish also. Okay, sir. That, that's a very good uh, yeah. policy, very good point that you've touched on. And what about the capping of price of uh, stents? There is a price cap on stents, which yeah, the government this has. This also article I've written hmm. that patient, the, the government said that the price should be less. Hmm. When the company makes a stand and do international trials to prove the safety of the stand, and they spend you know billions of money on that, how can they say ki it can be so low? Then I told the government on the, on the article that government should have paid the, paid the money for these trials. Only if the manufacturing is the rate for the, you know, giving to the hospital, then the for whole trial money should be paid by the government, not by the company. Okay. If money company has to spend millions of rupees for international trial, how can they, uh, you know, say, say, give you the standard so low cost? Okay. Okay. 
How can they give? Okay, sir. That's a very valid point. And thank you for speaking to Express Healthcare, Dr. Chanana. Thank you for speaking to us at Express Healthcare, Dr. Chanana. Thank you for your time. It was really wonderful getting your insights on this point. I read in that article that the government should pay the money for trials. If they want to fix the price by the manufacturing. Okay, sir. Thank you. That was Dr. B.B. Chanana telling us how Indian stands today have gone across the world thanks to the Make in India policy and how there is very robust data to prove that Indian stents are at par with stents from across the world. Thank you for watching this video. Do stay tuned for more updates from Indian stents. Get updated.